Welcome back guys to another exciting episode where I'm currently going through all the water blocks I've made in the past. Well this time it's not actually a water block, it's actually hot and cold plates. I found that when I started out there were quite a number of requests for these kind of devices to enable people to use their own water blocks instead of mine or to use um, air cooling heat sinks. From the point of view of not buying one of my water blocks and using one of these plates and then putting their water block on top, from my point of view it didn't really work out financially because the majority of the cost of producing a water block was actually in milling the copper and the copper itself. The only real difference between these two plates that you needed to buy and the a proper water block was the the cover, some acrylic, and uh, the seal. But in any case, I made a few of these for the people that wanted to try TEC cooling with air coolers or their own blocks. Um, it's important to remember that you have to cover the entire TEC's hot side and cold side with some kind of heat spreader. You can't just leave bits sticking out. If the TEC is 100 watts and it has 100 individual modules, normally it's like 127 or 199. But say it had 100 and 10 of them stuck out, that means that you're only going to get enough, you're only going to get 90% of your cooling. And also those ones that are sticking out would most likely burn out and break the electrical circuit and would all come to a crying end. So I made these uh, hot and cold plates. There's a stepped base to make it up and over all the nearby components, which is another important thing. Uh, it became kind of hard just to slap a piece of flat copper against the CPU, which is extremely tiny relative to, si to the size of these monsters. Uh, and there were capacitors and all sorts of other electrical components that were too close. So that helped you to step up and away. And the step on the hot side, which is where the TCs milled in, that was there so you could actually actually mount a air cooler because this block is quite large you want to be able to use the standard retention brackets with longer bolts obviously uh, so that's why it has a step in the top even though it's theoretically not required but it is if you want to use uh, standard retention hardware that came with your air cooler or water cooler so there we go guys hopefully you enjoy that and don't forget to subscribe to this awesome channel Super